really trying to explain some serious information. <laughs> Sorry, it came out funny. But a sense of humor is about the best thing you can have in the world. So, keep it up. Shut up and play. And that guy needs to shut up and stop telling me to shut up. I don't know if it's the same guy, but that is kind of funny that he would be here all fucking night <laughs> telling me to shut up and play. I thought he'd have got tired of me talking a while ago. I'm sorry, but I know these people. And I gotta talk to them. Maybe this is your first time and you don't know what I do, but now you do. So stop telling me, shut the fuck up and play. And every once in a while, I want to talk to y'all. I mean, y'all are all looking right at me. I feel like I should say something. When people walk up to you and they're looking at you, you at least go, like, what? You say something, right? And y'all look, there's a bunch of y'all. So I gotta say, what? Chicken butt, all right. That was what my grandpa used to do. Tell, you know, if he said what, he said chicken butt. I don't know, y'all did y'all, y'all grandpa did that to y'all too? No? Really? That's cool. That is the best part of the chicken, by the way. That's where the age come from. <laughs> what were y'all thinking? <laughs> you see, nothing's coming out right, man. I don't know what it is. I'm really trying to explain things. I don't know how many of y'all have been around chickens much. <laughs> so I know some of y'all not from the South, so I don't know. I've never seen chickens run around South Dakota. Like. <laughs> In the hills, I've never seen that. I've never seen them up in the hills in the, in the mountains in Colorado hanging out with the goats. <laughs> never seen chickens jumping around mountainsides, so I don't know. I've seen them around the yard. <laughs> down in Louisiana. Y'all looking at me like I'm really serious now. Shit. They don't know, they don't know when I'm serious or when I'm joking. He's still here. <laughs> That's the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> He's from where? Welcome to New Jersey. <laughs> He's from New Jersey? I was with y'all for a while because y'all got a crawfish festival. I play over there. Crawfish festival in New Jersey, y'all. If you have a in New Jersey and you run out of toll money. <laughs> You might be able to get some crawfish there one time a year, and, and, and we'll be there playing. It's, yeah, we play that crawfish festival in New Jersey. I, I'm, I swear, people go, what? Chicken butt. And we try to teach them how to eat them. They go real slow with it. It's, it's different. <laughs> they, they come watch us every once in a while to get some tips and pointers, but they go real slow with them. Uh, I don't know, if y'all come down to see us, we, we eat piles of them. We throw them on the table and uh, just start picking them. Y'all yeah. looking at me like, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'm going, mm-hmm, too. I'm hungry now. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play one more and I'm going to let y'all go eat. <laughs> what? <laughs> the guy's still here? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking, he's gonna go soon. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> you like monkeys? <laughs> you like bowling? Yeah, rock and bowl. Rock and bowl. Rock and bowl. You like bowling monkeys? <laughs> I've seen one. <laughs> I'm serious. 
My parents would drop us off in the afternoons when they go to the horse races to see, to, they'd drop us off at the bowling alley. Like, that's a safe place to leave the kids for four hours. Bowling alley in, in New Orleans. Are <laughs> you joking? It's not the rock and bowl, it was a different one. I shall remain nameless to protect the people who had monkeys for them. <laughs> but I'm serious, yo, this guy would come in with his with his monkey daddy or whatever you call him, I don't know, the guy that would handle him. And he had them all dressed up like a bowler. Y'all know what y'all know a bowling outfit, it's got the little like two-tone color things with the collars and all. He had like it was like turquoise, I don't know, he has his name embroidered. Like I think it was lucky. Somebody's leaving Tim, I don't know if it's him. It's him, right? Really. Still here, shit. All right, let me finish the story. <laughs> but actually, Lucky was a really good bowler for a monkey. I mean, come on. He had a special rack system that he threw the ball with because he couldn't get his monkey thumbs in them holes. <laughs> what? They got long thumbs. They grabbed on trees with them. No, they weren't made for bowling. And he had his special shoes, because monkeys got to wear shoes too. They can't put their socks on and go like that. If you're coming in, you got to bowl with bowling shoes. And he had some special shoes with the extra material for the knuckle for his monkey thumb on his foot. To fit in there, and it was like a big wide monkey shoe. Like monkey bowling shoe. <laughs> I think it was like a Nike or something. Now that, now, you know, just when you thought the monkey was cool as shit because he could bowl and he had his own special little outfit, the monkey smoked. <laughs> like, the monkey had cigarettes. And chain smoke. I mean, now, I remember, you know, this is, this is back a little ways when a monkey could still smoke in the bowl now. <laughs> That's why he was sitting there like. Morgan, <laughs> 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 when he was doing that, that many got strikes, man. When the monkey got strikes, he would. <laughs> Lucky strike, exactly. I think that's what he smoked. Cause they didn't have filters, I know. I was bumming them from the monkey. Cause he couldn't tell on me. <laughs> that, that was a cool ass monkey. I wonder where he is now. <laughs> but, you know, that's a little story. <laughs> oh, he's coming back. All right, let me play. All right, thank y'all uh, for listening to it.